Hello everyone, I'm Mark91 and welcome back to Let's Play Technomates. Last time we explored more of Steamer Town and we looted this hospital. Now let's talk to everyone. I just don't understand why the nurses didn't want to let me go. Apparently I wasn't well enough, but I feel absolutely great. By the way, since you're a half-dreamer, do you know a certain Sirendoran? Just before the catastrophe, we had to throw the idiot out of Steamer Town. From what I can see, dreamers only ever mean trouble. Yeah, the, the stereotype isn't for a laughing matter, but Sirendoran surely it is. And how the, how did he know where half Melvin's a half dreamer, half steamer? During the night when the fighting began, we quickly turned this house into a hospital. It wasn't easy, but we've now been able to treat most of the injured. Are you injured too? Your ears look a bit battered. Do you need help? Yeah, I don't know if that's a joke to anything or something. I'm so worried. Our children are still playing out there in the scrapyard, and people say it's still so dangerous there. The children just love playing in all the scrap, but I'm worrying myself half to death about them. They say there's something squeaking in there, and the area is so isolated. Do you think you could persuade my children they had better play at home? Okay, so there's something at the scrapyard. We'll get to that later on. It's that uh, thing she's talking about is actually the end boss of the game of this level. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I haven't been recording wow. a bit. Wow, you really pulled Philo's leg. I didn't know. Yeah, we already got that. Uh, Barra, Rumtuck, Barra's father's house. Okay, Rumtuck, it is then. I can't, don't know if I've talked to these people. That stopped it. As easy as that. But, uh, that's how you plug those burnt pipelines. Uh, let's see, if I, this guy still got Hello work. and welcome! Do you want to buy something? Yeah, we've already been here, but yeah. I'll give him a potion and buy a magic cube. Escape to exit it. Uh, by the way, something I didn't forgot to mention: these magic cubes, the memento uh, uh, Ferna gave us, these increase one of your statistics uh, it, uh, by one. Like this one, it, it increases constitution. Nice uh, visual effect for it. It may not look like March today, but at the time it was pretty nice. And this one for strength. Now we're both stronger and more durable. Uh, let's see. We, ah, now I know. We need to get uh, the cat back to his uh, um, to his master or owner. He'll give us something we'll need to get rid of Barris. And here he is, Allrock. Hello, my name's Allrock. And who are you, Half Pint? You don't look much like a steamer. Actually, I'm just looking for my medicine, my castor oil. Aha! Found it. It's very useful and versatile. I would even give you a bottle if you would do me a favor. My sweet little cat has run away. Can you bring her back to me? Yeah, we're already done. She's already walking around. <laughs> Wonderful! You've brought back my beloved kitten. Here's the castor oil for you, as promised. But be careful with it, and only use it in small quantities. Yeah, for everyone who... A cork! I wonder how I could use it. As I was saying, for those who watched in my previous videos, you will pretty much know what uh, <laughs> that castor oil is going to be used for. Not that I'm going to spoil it for anyone who's new to my videos. But uh, it will be pretty funny. And no, we won't be poisoning someone's wedding meal. I don't think anyone will have a wedding when the half the town's burning. And let's see, did I already talk to him for the second time? Your father's house is all locked up. Hmm. Now I'm beginning to understand why I haven't seen him for days. 
I can make you a spare key for the door if you fetch me some xantium ore from the mine over there. I would go myself, but I can't leave the forge fire. Now we've got two things to do in the mine. First is save Wumtuck, the miner who's gone missing, and get some xantium ore for a spare key. Uh, Yeah, from the sound of it, it's pretty easy to uh, scare these steamers, but uh, what, do you, <laughs> what do you want from them? They're half their towns burned down, and some of their people are missing. So, uh, they've got reason to be scared of something. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you don't try this at home, people. I don't think uh, any uh, people. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think anyone will be laughing about that. If now, you my boy, would you like a portion of my famous steamer stew? An excellent choice. A half pint like you need something substantial to eat. Wait here. I'll come right back with a steaming plate of stew for you. Yeah, don't try and poison someone's food. It'll, it could have really big consequences. And you're saying that right in my face. Also, something else: don't go leaving. You know, don't leave your dinner or such unattended when there's other people around. They might pull a prank on you, and sometimes that could end bad. Uh, sometimes uh, you know, food poisoning can really mess your stomach up. But uh, now we're going to uh, give Barris his uh, stew. Here it comes. What's happening to me? Uh, I think something awful is happening in my belly. That doesn't sound too well. Ugh. That stew's got a funny aftertaste. That stew is doing terrible things. And off he goes like a poison stew propelled rocket. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit funny, but I've seen it so many times, it's worn off. And now we're in the minor shed. Some, of, yeah, this one, yeah. These two contain items, and that switch will need to hit to open that door. But what have we got here? Sword. Now it's telling how to switch weapons. We've already seen that in Steamer Town. Select it, mouse, uh, sword directional buttons, enter to select, and now we've got our sword. Let's hit it. And as you can see, it goes a lot further, meaning it does more damage. All weapons uh, strike, attack with the same speed. Uh, there's nothing over there. Nothing useful at anyway. But, uh, now we're ready to go into the mine. Uh, he won't say anything new, so let's dive in. And it's dark. 
Now it's talking about torches. Anyone who knows it, yeah, yeah, adventure or RPG games knows what torches do. They light the place up, but they burn up. In this, in this place, we'll meet some new enemies like these fire salamanders. And as you can see, they spit fire, which makes them annoying. Since little, uh, they'll, uh, they spawn from burrows that you can't destroy. But uh, I'm running at the end of the video. So uh, this is Mark91. Have a nice day, everyone. And see you next time when we go deeper into the mines. Have a nice day.